Hey, everybody, welcome back to more Unexplored. Let me just do a quick check. Okay, good. <laughs> I swear I'm not doing that, you know, out of some sort of, like, ego thing. It's just I kind of like the time trial mode almost, so, like, at some point I want to go back to it. Maybe not quite yet, but, like, that would give me an excuse to do it. I think we're going to do WizKid the 7th. I mean, I kind of want the WizKid dynasty to have a victory here. Uh, it's too bad about that last one, because I was actually pretty excited about having a super buff WizKid guy. Um, oh, <laughs> So I should probably explain why we have no money. A friend of mine played uh, one round through, spent all my money, died really early, and didn't give me any money. And so now I have no money. It's a great, it's a great situation. Yeah. So we're just go we're just going right in. I mean, there's nothing else to do about it. I should just not let my friend play the game. But hey, whatever. Anyway, uh, I did want to say, just as a sort of warning, although nothing set in stone, that I might start doing this uh, every other day. Versus every day. Not sure. I might keep it every day. I might. I, it's. I'm just mulling it over. But um, you know, like if it does happen, this is basically the only warning that's probably gonna come. So like, I wanted to get it out there, just that might be uh, sort of easing it back a little bit. And I mean, eventually, obviously, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop playing the game. You know what I mean? It's, it's gotta happen at some point. There's still just uh, quite a bit to do with this. I mean, not quite a bit, but like little bit to do so I mean it, it just kind of depends on how I'm feeling about it or how people watching are feeling about it or whatever um, and also what happens with that new update because there's that Moria update coming up okay I don't like this situation I just got myself in wait a minute didn't one time we start with a magic missile plus three and I remark I commented on like wow plus three I thought you only started out with plus one and now it's plus one again what happened? What did I do? Oh, no. Okay, okay, we're gonna leave. I don't like spider level. Although there's a chest up here we might as well check out. I didn't notice it because it was almost kind of hidden. Scale mail, that's, that's pretty good. Yep. That's cool. That's a nice start. Um, not, not, as, not as nice as our last start, but it's, it's something. And yeah, let's just head down. Oh, okay, I didn't even see that really. Just volts. Okay. Yeah, but uh, it just kind of depends on what happened. What is this supposed to be? I don't understand. Is this supposed to be like a little bed? Okay, I didn't want to... No, come on. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't understand what that's supposed to be. But yeah, it just kind of depends on how I'm feeling, whether or not I keep doing this, uh, you know, one a day, two a day, or not at all. I don't... You know, eventually that's going to happen. Uh, as long as <laughs> they just don't keep updating it forever. But even then, it probably gets scaled back a bit because... You know, how, how much are they going to update every week? It can't be that much. And that's what I was going to say. The Moria update, if it's a lot of stuff and it's really fun, maybe I'll keep with it for a long time. If not, who knows? So, you know, just it's up in the air. There's an Ant Queen. We don't have the leather armor to actually take advantage of that. So currently I am leaning towards not fighting the Ant Queen. Uh, the helmet's something, but I'm not going to equip it while I've got this lore, lore hat. And Skill Stone's pretty nice. In fact... I'm going to use it on the lore because we've basically we've picked up like no items so far that can actually be identified, and I think getting the lore hat upgraded like this early is actually going to be pretty valuable because then it gives us the best chance for all of this for everything you know all the stuff we haven't picked up yet, which is everything. So I think that's good. Also, there's no guarantee that we ever actually. F Why did that not hit anything? What did that just do? Okay, that messed up my aim by doing that, but also, uh, yeah. The thing is, I, I kind of... Okay. Uh, how's the best way to do this? I mean, we've got just this one dagger and the magic... Okay, let's hide. That's what we want to do. Except that didn't work. Actually, if you could keep throwing those at us, that'd be great, because I could just use those against him. Yeah. Not a bad idea. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, okay, well. Okay, well. Not the best. I mean, I think it's worth killing this guy. I, mean, we're, I think we're going to take some damage doing it. I mean, we already have. But I think it's worth it because of, uh, you know, he gets some... He has some good stuff on him. That sword would be nice. And his cloak would be pretty nice, I think. Oh, come on. Get out of the way. Throw it, please. Just just throw it. There you go. 
<laughs> this is actually fairly easy, I gotta say. Oh, it broke. Give me another. Thank you. Oh, and that, but then he goes for it. Ah, oh, come on. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted to... Well, it worked out. Yeah, not so bad. I mean, we used a health potion and all that, but it could have been worse. The cloak we know is going to be good, because apparently it always is. We actually got leather armor, which is really cool. For some reason it says you need a strength of 10, and it's implying that I don't have a strength of 10. I don't understand that one. We got a scimitar, which is pretty good. Again, with the whole too heavy thing. I, I, we didn't get, like... What what happened? Why is it too heavy? He didn't... I don't understand. I've got 11 strength. The lore plus 3 is too heavy to wear. What do you mean the lore plus 3 is too heavy to hit? T too heavy to wear. It needs 10. I have 12. What happened that I can't do this? Can you, can you scroll up further? No, you can't. 11. 8. 11. Okay, it currently thinks I have 8 strength, I guess. But I, I don't. I don't understand what messed up. I think I think the game bugged out because I'm not... There's no status. I'm not stunned or drained or anything like that. Why am I so slow? Yeah, strength. Okay, well, that doesn't actually... Uh, help me, please. This is, this is pretty terrible. Maybe if I unequip everything. So now I'm regular speed. Okay. Now if I equip this, I'm encumbered. What do you mean, the heavy hat? It's 10, I've got 11. I don't... Something bugged out. I'm, I'm... Seriously, I'm just going to, uh... I'm just going to... Restart. Oh, but there's not actually even an option to restart. You have to actually... Deus Ex Machina, what does that do again? If you're stuck, each code only... Nah, nah, we're, we're fine with that. Um, I wish there was an easy way to kill ourselves, because if we just save and quit, it's gonna keep the save there. That's fine for now. I'll delete... I'll do that later. Let's just go new. Oh, wait, wait. Can I just new in this one? There we go. Okay. I don't know what happened, but we're just gonna restart. Um, Wizkid the Seventh had a, a... met a strange fate in the dungeons. Of being too slow to continue on. So he slit his own throat. Because it was just... it was just unbearable how slow it was. It's really a sad story, to be honest, and it was completely outside of his control because he was actually not that weak of a wizard. He could have handled the stuff he's wearing perfectly fine, but, you know, he was he was cursed by the gods of, uh, bugs. It happens. Uh, this is, this is taking a little, taking a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's a little, that's a little disappointing. I don't, I don't like the runs that, uh, <laughs> that end with bugs killing me, but... Um, could have been worse. We could have gotten to the end of the game and then that happened, you know what I mean? At which point it would have been too far, you know, the decision between restarting and... What is going on? This is ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, like, if it happened later on when we're actually given the decision to, like, restarting or not, could have actually been really bad. I'm gonna quit the game because this is ridiculous. Um, yeah, just start Task Manager. Quit the... Uh, Come on, game. Sorry for this, but <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, it should be blank for, like, just a second, and then it should come back up. I'll check when it comes back up. Hopefully it doesn't start crashing, because I've, I've mentioned that before. It does start doing that sometimes. It, uh... Now it's not showing up. Okay, we're back. Uh, <laughs> I'm having the worst luck. First, the game messes up and bugs to where I can't do anything, because I can't move fast enough. Then when I try and restart, then it starts loading and doesn't load, you know, like, at, at, at all. And then when I quit the game and go back in, it crashes three times, me trying to start up again. And now I've got to edit the game because of that, you know, because <laughs> nobody wants to watch the game crash three times, just a blank screen. So, uh, we're back into it. I think we were actually on WizKid the Ninth because of that last one, technically, you know. So we're going to do that. Uh, if there wasn't a WizKid the 8th, then we'll just pretend there was. Uh, it's, it'll be a family mystery. Let's get into this and hope that the, the game actually, uh, works. You know? It's, it's like the game got mad at me. I start talking about, like, you know, I might stop playing this at some point. And it's like, yeah, fuck you. We're gonna make you stop playing it right now. Just make your life a living hell. Ah. 
taking a drink of water. Got to get ready for this. Uh, okay, let's yeah, let's 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 hope for something good. Um, do we want to get stuck in here with a bunch of beetles? Absolutely not. We're just gonna. Oh, jeez, I hate beetle levels. My yeah, like just my luck. The game hate. Oh, and lizards, lizards and beetles. Next, we're gonna find hornets, and it's gonna make the unholy trinity complete. Oh, come on. I mean, at least the lizards aren't too bad with if you can throw something at them. So that, I guess that's something. I still don't like them. Hopefully, I've got a feeling now that we're going to get, like, the worst equipment now that the game's actually going to work. I, I, at least I hope the game's going to work, I, you know. Uh, let's check in there. I guess that's basically the whole floor except right there, so we might as well, you know. Um, yeah. Oh, I wasn't even... He wasn't even a camouflage lizard. I just didn't uh, pay attention. Is there supposed to be a secret door there? <laughs> I'm not... Well, there could be a secret chest there. Let me... Uh... Hey, yeah, it's a good thing I didn't skip that, because I almost did. Potion that is good. We're going to drink it. It's a life. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to know what it was. If it was a strength, to be super useful to get early. Right, yeah, I forgot. That's where all the beetles are. Um, so we're just going to go down. I Whatever's down there is not worth dying over. I can basically assure it. Yeah. I'm, I'm on edge now because I'm afraid at any moment I'm going to, you know, become over-encumbered for no reason or... Oh, I didn't even notice that door there before. Get out of here, beetle. Also, I thought these didn't affect the beetles. Uh, I'm just going to pray. Okay. Uh, you know, no. No. If it's the red one, no thanks. Just go down. Yeah, but now I'm, I'm afraid the game's going to just stop working somehow at any moment. But it seems to be fine so far, so hopefully we'll do this. And hopefully we'll be able to win this. Are those? Those are just the light things, right? We'll go the other way for now, because those bats... Well, I mean, I guess they'd run away, but still. Uh, we run into this guy just more and more. I don't understand why. Oh, oops. Just over and over, we keep running into this guy. And actually, he's not even... He doesn't drop anything... Well, he doesn't drop anything, actually. That's a complete statement right there. He doesn't drop anything. And he does a lot of damage. He's not really worth fighting. I mean... Yeah, like, I already got his chest now, so he's definitely not worth fighting. And it might not even been worth it for that chest. I mean, it was just a regular shield. So... Not worth it, I gotta say. Not my favorite boss. But, like, not a hard one. You know? So, I guess, I guess he's alright, because he's easily skippable. Um... If I can find an exit, I'm going to leave because, again, dark levels, not a big fan. Um, yeah, there's an exit, and it is the exit. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in this room. Currently in your loving arms. Blah, blah, blah. Three times. Wow, okay. Yep, let's go down. The freezing point. Okay, well, at least it's lit. Uh, you know, can we use that shield? I don't think we can. No, 12. Uh, yeah, so we're going to hold off on that. It, we really could use a better weapon, and that's why it was actually kind of... That Ninejaw file, um, you know, the one where we found Ninejaw would, was actually pretty good. You know, because we got that cloak, which would have been useful, and we got a sword early on. Not a sword that will satisfy that achievement we want to get, but still, a sword. It's better than a dagger. For sure. But we'll have to make do with what we have, you know, that's... Okay, one of those triangle puzzles. And here's a key, probably, yep, to this. And a chest. Something good. Two triangles. Okay, well, that, I mean, that's quick. And some sort of good... Oh, last rites. Okay. Yeah, two triangles already. We might actually find all three of them on this floor. I'm kind of hoping for that. Because that would make things easier. You know, just, just simple. And I imagine there's probably some good stuff behind there. Oh, wow. This is a really open space. I'm af I was afraid there was going to be that big, uh, that wolf boss here, but I guess not. I could identify something, but the only thing we have is the potion. I'm going to read this book. Orc Shaman we'll have to f uh, mess with. Okay. Um, that's like the whole level, but these aren't open. Oh, but there's a switch right here. Got it. There we go. Probably another switch. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Wow. Morningstar and whatever this does. Magic mapping. 
Um, so yeah, there's just a, oh, there's another room up there. Oh yeah, that's the one with the uh, with the triangles. There's three other ways down or two other ways down. I don't like this situation. Um, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna equip this and put this away just right uh, there and try and get out of this. Okay, well that actually kind of worked and I'm just gonna go down here. Although, uh, I don't really want to. Oh, there's also a thing in the middle there. Okay. Yeah, because see, this looks like it's the way down. And I don't want to go the way down yet. Because I've got two pieces of the triangle, you know? I want to finish the triangle. Freezing, okay. Oh, no. Oh, well, that actually worked amazingly well. Okay. Hey! Yeah, that's not so bad. Let's grab one of these in case we decide to use it. And we'll, equip, we'll keep the Morningstar equip for now. I mean, it's not like we could use the shield before anyway. Um, okay, secret door. That, oh, I didn't realize that's how secret doors showed up on the map. It's interesting. It's useful because for a second I thought I was stuck in there. Which means that prop... Yeah, that must be the way to go because if you get stuck in there. Unless they just are okay with you getting stuck if you're not able to find the secret room. I don't know. Maybe. Let's go down here. The Middle Everglades of Winter... Which also seems like it might be the right way. I guess we'll continue down it for a little bit and see what's what. Uh, but I'm kind of thinking this is the right way. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's not good. We're about to... Uh, oh, well, actually, the bleeding in the ration is uh, evening itself out. We're out of rations now, though. Okay, well, that... Oh, I thought I had another healing potion. We are having no luck at all, I have to say. That was... That was bad. Let's, let's... Okay. You know what they say. Tenth times the try. Ten, ten times... Tenth tries the charm. That's it. That's what they say. Oh, is it going to take a while again? Hopefully it doesn't get stuck. Yeah, I think we need to... I don't know. I mean, that was just... The wizard, I think, is kind of luck-based in a way. Because if you can get a good weapon early on, you're in a great position. If you can't... That's, you know, like, you're not in a great position. Although I guess a lot of, you know, like, most of them are somewhat luck-based in that what you find early on does determine, you know, how good the run's going to be. But at the same time, like, if you, the better stuff you start out with, the more likely you are to be able to just survive with just that. Um, okay, not really anything down there. Ants and bats are not the worst, for sure. So that's a fine start. That's another thing. Sometimes you just get some enemies that are just terrible and uh you know like ants are fine i have nothing there's nothing wrong with ants uh rats aren't really that bad either especially rats and bats would probably be the best combination to get early on um because you just put out a torch and suddenly you have no enemies who are going to attack you on the entire level unless the bats start getting uh, ballsy about it like they sometimes seem to do but in general, you know, you're just safe then. So that'd be, you know, like if you get lucky and get that, you're good. You know? Um, yeah, I could use the torch here, but again, we have one torch and uh, it's three bats. I'm not concerned. Um, take pity on my request. Okay, is it just going to be prayers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, why are those on the wall? I don't really understand why why they're written on the wall. Do people write prayers on the walls? Like, that doesn't really, uh... You just need to... You just say them out loud. You just click the little button. Okay, we got some of these guys who can't actually attack. Um, and that's the whole floor, guys. Uh, basically nothing. But it was easy, so I can't complain. A mace hidden down a couple of floors down is supposed to be potent and pure, even... So potent and pure, even the undead fear it. Probably blessed by the lady. Okay, so there might be a mace. Well, there should be a mace somewhere further down. Turn that off, turn that on. Okay. At least that you can kind of corral the spiders a bit. Chainmail and... An identify. Well, let's identify the chainmail. It's a stealth plus one. Requires 12, though. Oh, man. Are we stuck in here? Are we seriously stuck in here? There must be a secret door. Yeah, there it is. I was going to say, because we didn't get a descend, so there's got to be, you know. Oil. All right, and then, yeah, let's just get across. <laughs> Those bats look weird when they're just little diamonds flying at you. Yeah, who turned this off? I don't, a bat? What? I don't know why that uh, closed behind me. 
Like, it wasn't one of the timed ones. It just... Somebody hit it. Kind of spooky, actually. If a bat indeed can't do it, and I would imagine they can't. Let's read one of these. Pain. Okay, well... It's honestly not that bad once you realize you can throw daggers at him, as long as you're not cut, uh, caught unawares, which obviously would happen fairly often. You're not trying to read a pain, scroll, a pain scroll. This is the way down, but this floor isn't so bad, so we're gonna... Okay, there's clearly not a secret room there. Yeah, we're just gonna continue on for a little bit. Uh, let's just have these guys fall right off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job. Um, we can do the same thing right here. Oh, whoa! I touched down on the ground. I hate it when that happens. It's just a waste of health. Yeah, yeah, let's just go back up. I mean, that was... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, I wish you could kind of control when you touch down. I wish you just never touched down until the gliding is fully over. You know what I mean? I want to... What if I want to keep gliding when I'm over here, you know? Because I do. I, I actually did. And like you do for a little while, it's it's weird. Uh, we didn't identify the ring at all, so that sucks. Um, not sure how much we really want to risk it right now. Um, yeah, we're really hoping for a strength potion because of that chainmail. Because that chainmail is going to be pretty valuable once we can actually equip it. For now, it's just, uh, you know, taking up space. Down here, okay. Some money and some potions, one of which we found out what it does, and it's good. Strength, life. That's all right. Uh, it's no strength though. In this case, I would have actually much preferred strength. Ten or twenty percent more health though is something. You know, not gonna, <laughs> can't complain. Like I said before. I mean, it's not true, really, is it? You could complain all you want. It's, that's just kind of like a... I shouldn't complain. Magic Missile plus two. Okay, what is going on? I, I didn't... Think... Is it? Okay. Is how good the Magic Missile staff you start out with random? Or have I just been, like, missing something huge? I don't understand. You know, like, am I just... Am I just dumb? Or is it completely random? Because if it's just... I mean, partially random, I guess. I don't know. Because if it is random, it seems like if you get anything that's not a plus three, or whatever the highest can be, um, that you can start with, you should just restart. And that's terrible game design. If it's just, if you just save scum at the beginning, that's the best way to play things. So, you know, I hope that's not the case, but it's looking like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. The rope's nice. Okay. Especially with all these pits, although you have to have it in your hand for it to actually be useful, so, you know, we'd have to be doing it on purpose. But that could definitely happen. And we should keep that in mind in case anything dangerous pops up so we don't fall, like, into that situation we did that one time where, like, we could have easily gotten away from the beetles if we'd just fallen down. Um, but we just, we didn't. Nice, both of them at once. Ugh, my aim is not the best right now. Okay, come on, that should have hit his wing, right? Come on. You gotta hit him in the middle for it to actually do anything. There. Ration. Okay, we'll eat one. Uh, I pressed it, like, way too early for that to, like, ever be accurate. I was just kind of lazy. I wanted to... Well, not lazy, but, like, impatient. I wanted to hit him right away again. Please be strength. It's an antidote. Okay. Honestly, one of the... Uh, oh, it gives immunity. I didn't realize that. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, like a it, an antidote before you even need it. Well, I mean, that's kind of cool. Otherwise, though, the antidote is probably my least, uh, the least useful, um, of the good potions. And that's not because, I mean, like, it's, it's all right. But, like, it, it'll run out eventually, and, like, all of the other ones are just better. Like, I mean, I think even a healing potion heals more than the damage you would take from poison, right? So, like, basically every good... Well, I guess it's not better than... Antidote's probably better than levitation, I guess, but levitation seems to be pretty rare. And maybe after they've nerfed... Since they've nerfed invisibility... I don't know. I'm just saying it's not very good. I wish that was a strength. Or, uh... The strength. I mean, anything... That's the main thing. Because I really want to equip this. Stealth plus one chainmail sounds pretty great. 
Ration, okay. Some good. A pain scroll and some arrows. We'll take the arrows just because, but... Uh, yeah, the pain scroll has no use for me, I don't think. Can sacrifice a lockpick. Oh, wrong, wrong one. No, we can sacrifice a ration. Perfect. And make our way up. Okay, maybe not. Open that door. There we go. Flint and steel and a book. The Heartless Ogre, who killed Manny, lives in the azure black ground of the Blue Tribe. Heartless Ogre, okay. Yeah, alright. And... The level below is un overrun with undead, and it's definitely the wrong way to go. Well, in that case, I will not go there. I will take that advice. I am not a fan of the undead, so... You know, I am perfectly fine with skipping that. A um, lot of rats going on. Probably shouldn't have thrown that. Yeah, shouldn't have, shouldn't have thrown that. Uh, I got stuck in that corner. That was almost pretty good, otherwise. Good maneuvering. Okay. The gigantic white rodents. Okay. Uh, we have two potions we could throw. We could throw some oil and light it on fire, which would cause a huge forest fire that would probably light us on fire if we're not very careful. Um, still might be the best thing to do. We only have one torch, though, and if we ended up running into... Because we'd, we'd have to throw a torch down to do it and not light ourselves. I guess that wouldn't burn up the torch. It would still be there on the ground, so that's not an impossible idea. Let's equip this. Flint and steel. Oh, we could actually just... Okay, throw it right there. Throw it right there. It'll actually just light that. Yeah, we don't even have to do the oil. Although I will anyway, because we never use it, and also, uh... Might have a bit of a bang. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, okay, there's this little rat here. Uh, I think we have pretty effectively handled that situation. It's not dead yet, but it's definitely taking a lot of damage. We'll want to keep back, for sure. Um, I guess we could, like, explore a little bit while it's uh, doing that. Yeah. You know, wait for the fire to go out, because we don't really want to... Uh... Oh, but this is that area. I don't want to go in there, maybe, ever. Um, is, yeah, okay. So, yeah. Oh, well, the fire went out. The rat had j just enough health left to, to die from that. Okay. Got our torch. And, alright, that was pretty good. That's the thing. If you stay calm, I mean, most encounters aren't that bad. Um, you know, some of them are. But, that one wasn't. Pretty easy, honestly. And you also just gotta take advantage of what you got. Uh, I should probably pause. I actually thought I had it paused. I wish you could look around while it was paused. That's kind of a little bit of a problem. Um, yeah, I don't like this room. I like that those guys kind of ignored me, but other than that, I don't like it. Let's see if this is the right way to go, because if it is, I'll just go. Seems like it is, so I'll go. And it, it, even if it's not, it's probably worth checking out, so we'll go. Oh, oh. Spooked me for a second when something pops up out of where the skeletons are. But, uh, no, it's just a beetle, which is close to as bad, but not as bad, I, I think. Kind of depends, I don't know. Okay, we got another prayer, so if we ever have something to pray for, we'll definitely need to do that. Like, there's no, you know, not a big risk, really. Um, poison? No, oh, just some sort of bad potion. Well, let's use it on these guys, although I'm a little close. I don't really want to use it at this close range. Especially if it's like explosion or something. Let's use it from here. Smoke. Okay. Semi-useful. Um, not my preferred one, for sure. I would have I would have preferred an explosion or incineration. Uh, I think we got to kill this guy. Otherwise, I mean, we could risk trying to pray right here and then... Like, we're going to pray right here, but I don't know if I want to risk... Oh, what the heck? Well, that works for me. Thanks. Hey. Uh, hmm, that's an interesting decision. Do we use it on the lore, or do we use it on the stealth, or, or you know, save it to use on the stealth, or, or something else? I think we're going to save it. Although we're only on depth 5, there's still a lot of stuff we haven't found. I think the lore could actually still be useful, so... Because I'm pretty sure increasing your lore after you've already... Like, if we increase our lore, we wouldn't suddenly be able to identify that. I don't think think. Are we stuck here? Did he just put us into an area where we're... Oh. 
Oh, but we got through, so I guess it's fine. All's well that ends well. And here's the way down. I kind of want to do a little bit more exploring, even though I hate the uh, enemies on this level. And the water. There's a key that's going to be worthless, because I am going to just go down. I don't want to mess with this anymore. Although, what's up here? Let me let me grab my dagger back. And yeah, what what's up here? Iron ore could do something. Uh, yeah, we'll keep exploring. It's fine. Um, oh, okay. Well, if we'd left, we would have saved ourselves five health. So that's all right. And we didn't actually get like anything except. A ration, which is worth 10 health. So, no, that was actually worthwhile. As long as we don't get hit on the way out. No, we're good. Okay, well. Uh, that's actually a good place to uh, call it. Except for the fact that there's a beetle right here that's going to probably hit me right when... I gotta kill it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize they were that low on health. Like, that they had that little. Yeah, so... That's where we'll call it for now. We didn't actually get very far because... Of, you know, the extenuating circumstances there with the whole game not really cooperating a couple times. But, you know, it's fine. Just, you know, whatever. <laughs> we're gonna, we're just, just gonna deal with it. Should have paused there. Whatever. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.